Alrighty guys, welcome in. I'm gonna tilt this back a little bit. I'm trying to get trying to make sure you guys can see me okay. Looks like I'll have to still tilt it a little bit. Uh, welcome to Cardio Strength. While you guys are getting set up, I've put everything in the description so you know exactly what to expect. You will need one weight today. So bands, you're gonna be able to do some things with the bands, but you're not gonna be able to do everything. So that being said, you will want some type of weight. I have one dumbbell I'm gonna be using. Um, if you have a household equipment like laundry detergent, a gallon of water, things like that are also gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds to get set up and I'm gonna angle my camera a little bit better here. And then we are gonna get started with our warm up. We are doing Tabata format today, guys. So it's gonna be nice and quick. So if you just need a sweaty workout this afternoon, this is gonna be it. All right, we're gonna see if this is a little bit better for those of you guys watching. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right, now you guys can see me a little bit better. I'm using my iPad, so it's a little bit different on that format. So again, grab that piece of equipment, guys. My name is Kayla. Let's get started with a nice warm up. If you're still finding your piece of equipment, that's fine. Just join in when you're ready. So we're gonna start off with a nice little step. Let's start off with some chest openers. I'll go slightly bent. If you haven't moved yet today, it's okay. It's a Monday. Weather's a little bit cooler. Maybe you're tired from the weekend. Let's slowly warm up today. I know I'm feeling a little stiff. If you are as well, make sure you really prioritize this warm up. Three, two, one. You can either stand still or keep those steps going, but let's do some circles forward. I'm doing some small circles now. You don't have to go too big yet. Good, three, two, one, take it backwards. I've got music on, it's kind of quiet right now on the song that it's at. You can listen to your own music or my music during this workout today. Three, two, one, again, now we're gonna go forward, but big circles, you can take these a little bit slower. I would do the step, but it's harder for me to do the big circles and the step at the same time. One, take it backwards, reach those fingertips behind you. Really trying to get a nice range here. Three, two, one, hand on that hip, we're gonna do side reaches. Hold for a second or two and then switch sides. Good morning, flat back here. Remember guys, you want to keep those knees slightly bent. Three, two, one, go ahead and spread those hands out and those feet a little wider. We've got opposite hand, opposite foot. You can touch your shins or your thighs if you prefer. And for those of you guys joining on, we are just doing our warm up. We're doing a nice long warm up today before we jump into Tabata. We're gonna bring those legs up in three, two, one. Same thing, but now we're bringing the leg up. get a wall or couch space behind you. Uh, if you can do it without anything behind you, that's also fine. But we wanna get in a nice squat stance here, so feet a little bit wider than those hips. We're gonna sink down into our squat, elbows going between our knees, chest up nice and tall. 
We're gonna hold it for about three to five seconds. Then I want you to bring it back up nice and tall. Same thing. So make sure you're not going so low that you feel everything's turned off. You wanna feel a nice little stretch. Relax. What's going on? Did I just lose connection with you guys? I had a quick little flash pop up on the computer. All right guys, we've got one more stretch here. We're gonna do world's greatest. I want you to take a big inhale up to the ceiling. Exhale, walk it out to a plank. We're gonna take our left foot forward into a nice little lunge. You can drop that back knee if you need. And then I want you to reach that left arm up to the ceiling and then tuck that elbow in toward your opposite. Do it one more time, reach up nice and tall. And tuck under. Go ahead, take that left hand down. We're gonna switch legs. Right leg forward, same thing. We're gonna reach up nice and tall. Dive it under. Reach back up. And dive it under. Take that right hand back. Right foot goes back. You're gonna walk all the way back up. All right, you guys. That's our long warm up for today. We are gonna get ready to get started. Um, if you are a, you like to visually follow along, I've written the workout in the description. You're welcome to follow along with us. So we do have Tabata today. Most of the time it's gonna be a strength exercise followed by some type of cardio or body weight exercise. Hope you guys will enjoy that format today. Um, if you're not familiar with my Tabata, it's 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. We're gonna go for eight rounds. So what happens is we end up doing four sets of the first exercise and four sets of the second exercise. So to make it really quick, um, the goal is obviously for you to push yourself. I want you to take the strength exercises a little bit slower, focus on that muscle engagement, and then on the cardio, you can go full blast on that, okay? So very first round, let's go ahead and uh, demo together and we'll get started. So our first one is a squat to Romanian deadlift. So this is complicated as it's got two exercises in it, but I have faith that you guys can do this just fine. So we're gonna have the weight, whatever you have, dumbbell, kettlebell, at your chest, you're going to squat, okay, so chest is up, weight's at my chest, then when we come back up top, you're going to lower the weight to your hips, knees slightly bent here, keep that flat back like we did in our good morning, and you're going to hinge at your hips, you notice I'm pushing my butt back, getting a stretch in my hammies, back to the chest, squat, deadlift, we're going to go back and forth for 20 seconds. Watch your chin as you throw that weight up toward your chest. And again, make sure we're not rounding when we do that deadlift. We want to pull that shoulders back, core's nice and tight. If you do not feel comfortable doing both, don't do both. You can do just squats, or if you want to just do that deadlift, that's fine. Then second exercise. Uh oh, can you guys see me okay? I thank you guys for letting me know. It, it had a little pop up on the screen and it said it ended, but then it said it went right back live. So I don't know why it did that. I hope you guys can see me just fine. Our second exercise is gonna be a hand release push up. So we're gonna be on the floor, hands under shoulders. We're gonna lift hands and press. Now, notice I'm doing this on my knees. That's completely fine. This is a different type of push up. Main thing I'm looking for is we do not wanna come shoulder then butt. We want to come up as a whole. So if you can do that on your toes, awesome, do it on your toes. Find what works best for you. Remember, these are going to be 20 seconds. They're going to be pretty quick. So I think, all right, so guys, I have three people viewing. <laughs> Making sure you guys can see me. Video ended. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, I made my timer set up. delay we're gonna get started with that workout now remember this is four minute workout I'm gonna have my timer going once we get through this first round together you guys will get it and we'll go a lot quicker all right we got 10 seconds we're gonna start with that squat to deadlift get ready five seconds three two one so squat then flat back squat Push those hips back. Relax. Set it down. We're 
bring it down to the floor. I love these. Hand release. Make sure you're lifting your hands. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lift. Press. Keep that core nice and tight. Exhale as you push. Step on that resistance band 
You can do the same thing or loop it around something that you can get a nice strong row. Then you guys have skaters. Make sure you have some distance from that dumbbell, but we're gonna go side to side. You can either jump tap, jump hover, or just a nice quick shuffle, keeping that chest up, core tight, and going as quick as you can. Watch your feet and ankles on that one, guys, and make sure to breathe, okay? So that one's gonna get us winded. We're gonna slow it down and be controlled for those rows. So, let's get ready. I'll start with my, well, I'll start with my right side. You guys won't be able to see it super well, but then I'll go right side to left side and switch. All right, 10 seconds. Get a nice flat back here. Opposite leg is forward. Three, two, one, here we go. So just my right arm is doing a strong row. If your weight is too light and you have like two weights, you can always do both arms at the same time. Mark it out. Get ready for that skater. Know which version you're going to do. Let's go. Let's go. Keep that core tight. Come on, chest up. Make sure you should not be feeling any pain in your low back. Two, one, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. 
right, guys, we've got 30 more seconds left. Time to go over our next one. So we're going to have a curl, tuck press. So if you guys have a uh, like resistance band with handles, this one's going to be also something you can do, depending how light your resistance band is. So watch your back on this, get a nice flat back, knees slightly bent. We're going to keep our elbows in. We're going to curl and then press that weight overhead, controlled on the way down. Okay, so watch your chin, especially if you have a dumbbell, as you press. Um, if you have those bands, again, just curl. Do as much of a press as you can and back down. Same thing applies if we did that squat to deadlift. If you don't want to do both, pick one that works best for you. Um, again, just break through that core. If you have two dumbbells, great. Do both dumbbells and then press those overhead. After that, we're going to have a static lunge. It is totally up to you if you want to hold that weight on your chest. We're going to get a nice lunge. We're going to dip back up. Squeeze that glute and we're going to put all that pressure on that leading quad. So if you want to hold that weight at your chest or at your side, awesome. Then we'll switch the next round. If you don't like static lunges, if they're not your thing, you're welcome to do an alternating front lunge. That is also fine. So let's get ready guys. Making sure we're good to go here. Come on, a couple 
more seconds.
Cooper twitched legs if you didn't see the legs. Let's go. Sometimes. All right, get ready. 
arms up, ready for that punch. Let's go. Leg, but not coming all the way up. 
And notice I'm still doing the latter five. Totally fine if you do the same with me. I'm feeling kind of tired. bring it back to center. Thank you guys so much for doing cardio strength today. That's all the stretching I'm going to do because Lori's going to be posting a stretch break here in just a few minutes. Um, we are doing a stretch challenge this week. So if you do her stretch break or if you do some extra stretching on your own today, all you're going to do is check mark Monday saying that you stretch today. We're going to do it every day this week. So stay tuned and get up on that poll and mark if you do it throughout the week. Okay. Please come if you did the class. Sorry for the disconnect in the beginning. I have no idea what happened, but I'm glad that it went back to being live. Again, my name is Gayla, guys, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you.